did that she had this is a great topic actually because it's your life and you really don't need to write that stuff down because you lived it so for other people who haven't given speech three yet that's probably a great idea talk about your own life because that way you won't forget it and now Melissa to make your speech even better I would comment on your positioning it was great how well the best part of your speech was actually your energy I've seen that in your other speeches that even if they're imperfections, I don't even want to talk about it because you're pretty much pure energy between yourself and the audience. So that overcomes a lot of technical flaws. But I do have a technical flaw. <laughs> yes! You were speaking to the audience, but a lot of times you were here, which means Peter didn't get to see you. Your hot husband couldn't even see you. <laughs> Brian couldn't see you. <laughs> So it's great to be here, but then at some point during the speech, you have to move around, and the only way for everyone to see you would probably be to be here, or move the lectern back, because everyone wants to see you during the speech. So think about that on your next endeavor. And you did the cardinal sin, which is you give us a fantastic transference of energy, where all our mouths are open. And then you say, thank you, at the end. You know, we're thanking you. And we're going to think about that speech tonight and when you give your fourth speech. So we all do that sometimes. But we should never thank the audience when you've given your heart, you've given a great speech. And after the speech, we're going to come up to you and thank you. So <coughs> thank you. And otherwise, Melissa, it was a good choice of words. You had a lot of... A lot of enthusiasm, more than your other speech I heard, where there was a smile pasted on your face, which was great because that helped to, to transform the message. Because we could, that was part of the energy transfer, so we could feel the energy, we could feel the experience. As far as your storytelling, you had a couple of gems in here that you could have utilized more. You mentioned your grandmother. We heard you loved your grandmother, but that was a great opportunity to tell us in one or two sentences some connection that you had with your grandmother. Because that would have made the story for us have more, more energy to it and a more connection. So it all, only takes a couple sentences. <coughs> and then when we hear about your grandmother getting sick, the whole story takes on even a stronger impact. And you had a couple funny laughs. You could have definitely had another funny laugh. In the beginning, when you, you were dating, you, you probably have a lot of terrible dates you could have told us. Just tell us one story about a horrible man you went out with. That would have got everyone laughing and would have further made the great ending even more triumphant and a more complete story. So thank you. I can say thank you. Thank you, Willis.